Breaking just moments ago from Capitol Hill, California Senator Dianne Feinstein officially announcing she will not run for re-election in 2024. That decision creates a rare open Senate seat in solid blue California, setting the stage for what's already shaping up to be a competitive Democratic primary. NBC's Sahil Kapoor is on Capitol Hill. This is going to be absolutely fascinating. You have a lot of high-profile Democrats, people who have a good fundraising base. You've already had people stepping in to give their support to some of these possible candidates. Talk about where this leaves this race. That's right, Chris. This is a big announcement and a widely anticipated one. Senator Dianne Feinstein says she will not run for re-election in 2024. She will serve out the rest of this term and then step down. Now, this does open a, a seat in California, which is a big prize for Democrats. This has been widely anticipated this announcement in large part because of Senator Feinstein's age. She is 89 years old now. If she were hypothetically to have served another term, she would be 97 by the end of that. And looking at that fact, several of her Democratic colleagues in the House in California have already jumped in this race uh, and gotten ahead of her announcement. That includes Katie Porter, uh, who represents Orange County. That includes Adam Schiff, you see him on the screen here, who represents uh, a district in the Los Angeles area around Pasadena. Uh, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, who represents the Oakland and Berkeley up north in the San Francisco Bay Area, is expected to jump in the race as well. This could be a very competitive primary. And remember, in California, there is a unique top two system where you don't have to be necessarily one person from each party. The top two vote getters in this jungle primary advance to the general election. Unclear who those two will be, but it is, as you point out, Chris, a safe Democratic seat. Uh, big, biggest question here is which Democrat uh, is going to ultimately win that. Now, back to Feinstein. She was first elected in 1992, which was dubbed at the time the year of the woman because being a woman senator at the time was seen as a novelty. Uh, she, in her statement, she uh, touted the fact that she helped pass the 1994 assault weapons ban. That issue is uniquely personal to her. Uh, helped write the 2014 torture report. Helped California through droughts and wildfires. And she says she will continue to use her seniority on the Appropriations Committee to deliver funds to California for the remainder of her term. Chris. And you already have Nancy Pelosi, who knows a little bit about California politics and knows a few people coming out to endorse Adam Schiff. This is going to be a wild one. Sahil Kapoor, thank you so much.